going to use a clump of translucent clay, a translucent and a tiny bit of pink, and a lot of pink with a tiny bit of translucent, and that gives these three colors that I'm going to make a blend, a Skinner blend of, for the butterfly that a lot of people have told me they don't know what I'm doing on, so I'm trying to make it over. This time I am using some different colors to do this. If you don't know what a Skinner blend is, then please look it up on YouTube, because there is a lot of good videos that show what it is and how it's made. I am still trying to show you here how I do it. So I fold the clay and I roll it through my pasta machine and I fold it again and roll it through my pasta machine. I keep doing this until I have the blend that I like and until my piece of clay is a long thin part. In my last video I made a U blend, but in this one I'm going to make a bullet eye and that's very easy. I take one of the ends of this long string and I'm just going to roll it. And if you want to you can start on the pink side first and then roll it out so it's getting the lighter color at the outside. Um, I chose it this way, but really you can make these butterflies just like you want to. It's only your imagination that puts the limits for these. Now I'm just going to squeeze it a bit together and I'm going to roll it a tiny bit so I have a longer piece to work with. I rolled out a black piece of clay on my pasta machine and this is on the smaller settings. I don't want it to be too thick. And do not let it overlay when you roll it around this little uh, bullet eye. Now I'm going to take a piece of pink clay and I'm going to make a sausage of this. I put a tiny piece of white clay through my pasta machine, again in a thin setting, and I wrap that around this pink colored uh, cane that I made. I roll this pink and white cane into a very, very thin cane. And then I roll the other one into a cane as well, but I'm not going to make that as thin as the white and pink one. And I cut this one in three pieces. I'm going to cut the end of the pink and white cane so that I have a nice edge. Then I take my bullet's eyes and I'm going to squeeze it into a teardrop shape and I'm going to connect two of these together. And I'm going to place my pink and white cane just like you see I do here. I'm trying to show you really good but it's kind of hard to explain what I'm doing. Here I'm making sure that there's no white part 
are visible between these black ones so you only see the black and not the white. I roll the rest of my pink and white cane a little thinner again. So my can looks like this now. I rolled a piece of light grey clay through my pasta machine on one of the smaller setting and I'm going to wrap that around my cane and I'm not going to overlay it so my cane is going to have this thin grey clay all the way around. Now I'm just going to reduce my cane. You can use this for the wing as it is like this and you will have a very nice pattern that is not that small uh, but it will be easy to see the pattern. I cut it up in three pieces, three equal pieces just like I did in the first video with this pattern inside. I'm shaping them into a teardrop shape and I'm connecting all three of them and that's my mistake. In my old video I only connected two of these and I used the third for the lower wing instead of all three for the top wing, but you can do it both ways. I squeeze and stretch the skin until I have it in a size like you see here. And here is the pattern. Then I'm going to cut it off so I have one fourth of the cane. And I'm going to stretch that fourth of the cane into the length of the longer and bigger uh, piece that I have. So I have a thick piece of the cane, like this one. And I have a thin and I'm placing them together like you saw here. It doesn't really matter how you put the wings together, just that you have the lower wing that is smaller and the top wing that is bigger. And then you can turn them around just like you want them to before you connect them like I'm trying to show you right here. After I connected the two wing parts together, I am cutting them into smaller uh, lengths and actually gave one of these pieces some blue pearlex just to see how that would work on the done result. And now it's time to bake. I have this dark grey clay that I'm going to cut off tiny pieces and I'm rolling the piece into this oblong snake that I'm going to use for the butterfly body. Then I'm going to cut off some very thin slices of my butterfly cane. You need two slices for one butterfly, so you have the two wings. I'm going to dip them here in bacon bond and then place them on each side on this little oblong uh, part for the body, just like that. And when I've made a few of these, then I'm just going to bake them. And there I have some very easy, cute butterflies. But you can make the canes in the colors and in the 
variants you want to for these uh, butterfly wings all you need to know is that you need the bigger wing for the top wing and the smaller wing for the bottom wing and then you can make a beautiful butterfly cane thank you for watching